What's up guys, Shockwave 640 here, and today we are going to be taking a look at my LEGO Transformers, or my LEGO Mini Transformers, uh, Galvatron. And of course, he's not purple like he's supposed to be, I actually built him in technically G1 toy colors, but I just like to say he's built in Megatron colors because I don't own very many purple LEGO pieces, so I had to build him in gray. And of course, he does come with this little headmaster who I have in head mode. I'm not going to bother transforming him just because when transform them, these pieces fall off constantly. But basically, it's just like a little Megatron. Um, it looks almost exactly the same as Flash Drive from my LEGO Mini Bruticus video, which if you haven't seen that yet, go ahead and check that out. That is my 50 subscriber video. And if you want to see how this transforms and how that works, just go ahead and take a look at that video. It's pretty much the exact same thing. He just has these little weird flaps on his legs, and then his arms are, again, one of these flaps, and then this piece is just rotated like so. So there is that. Now let's actually get in here and do the size comparisons. So bringing in Galvatron, here we have a little Legends Bumblebee from Reveal the Shield, and we have Combiner Wars Blastoff, and then the last size comparison is for Robot Mode, so there is that. Now let's get into taking a look at him. And of course here is Galvatron in his Space Cannon mode. Um, I like the Space Cannon mode. I think it looks pretty spot on. It just sits really, really low to the ground if you couldn't tell. So it looks end up looking more like a tank. But I still do quite like it. You can clearly see his legs folded up right there. His arms right there. I mean, you can pretty much see exactly how this transformation is going to work. But um, he's got his orange cannon there which I was able to successfully build. Um, he's got his little wheels right here for the tank treads, and then this third strut back here, just so he can prop himself off the ground. Other than that, there's not really much to it. He's got a fin there, and just a huge chunk of leg junk right back there. A little bit of clear purple, a lot of clear orange on him, I just decided clear orange would look really cool. Um, and that's pretty much it. I don't know, get to the transformation. So what you want to do for the transformation is you just want to come in here. Pull the cannon off, set that to the side, open up these sections like so, extend the arms, just kind of bring them down so you can get them out of the way. It's best if you just kind of go ahead and move them out so that way you have room to work. Let's come back here, you're going to pull this piece off, this will become a weapon. You're going to bring his legs all the way down. You can angle them back a little bit if you wish. Come down here, separate the legs, come in with leg number one, turn this gray piece, bring this back to become the heel spur, and rotate that back, and there you go. Do the same on this side, rotate this gray piece, bring this back, like so, bring that down, and then just come in here, bring his feet down, and rotate them and yes I know his feet are very very long but I couldn't really figure out how to fix it so I just kind of left it and also when you're going back into cannon mode uh, that stud will tab into that port right there or slot into that port so you just kind of get him standing here like so it's a little bit on the back heavy side so there we go let's bring his arms down Come back here, lift this flap up, bring in his head, and just plug it in where the cannon was. And there we have Galvatron in his robot mode. Now, to get to his weapons and transforming them. You just want to take his cannon here, which it was in uh, his space cannon mode. You're just going to slide this orange piece down, covering up the purple piece, and rotate these sections back like so. And there you go, you have his arm cannon. Bringing in his scythe weapon, you basically are just going to shift this up to the point where it goes here, rotate this orange piece around, or you can just rotate this uh, the little wedge, and just kind of bring it up. Actually, you're going to bring it around, bring it down like so, bring down the scythe part. Yeah, did something wrong here. Okay, that's just going to go down like so. I feel like I'm doing something horribly wrong. 
No, I think I got it right. And then there is his scythe weapon, which I know Galvatron didn't have a scythe in the original cartoon or really in any version, but I just felt like I had to do something for a strut and I didn't want to make some weird long appendage that just folded up on his back. So I gave him the scythe weapon to serve as that. And actually, now that I think about it, this would look a lot better folded to the back like so. So there you go. There we have his scythe. And of course, to plug that on, he just holds onto the bottom of this section right here. And there you have him holding his scythe. And his cannon just plugs into this port right here. Like so. And there you have my Lego Galvatron Mach in his robot mode. And so let's just bring in the size comparisons. So here we have Legends Bumblebee. <clears throat> here we have Combiner Wars Blastoff. And Titans Return Galvatron. So you can see how a Galvatron looks with another... Galvatron. As you can see, I carried over what I could with the crown, the shoulder pads, the uh, the fin on his back, the cannon on his arm, a little bit of purple as with the cannon, uh, legs. I tried to base them off of Galvatron legs as much as possible, and then of course he has his red six pack. And if I had the Decepticon symbol, it would go right there. And of course, anything that's gray on him is supposed to be purple, and the legs are supposed to be colored like that. So. But that's about as good as I could go. I didn't bother giving this my Galvatron a base mode or a gun mode as the, the other Galvatron had. I just didn't feel like doing it. So uh, let's move on to the articulation. Articulation, his head is on a swivel. You can't look up and down or anything. Uh, the shoulder pads can move down and up if you wish to do so. His arms are on a ball joint. Shoulders are on a hinge, getting a full range of movement. You can angle this fin however you wish. Um, his legs are on a universal joint, so they will go out that far. They will go forward. Just yeah, about this far before they start colliding with things and making stuff pop off. Same for going backwards. There we go. I'm not going to go about that far backwards before things start to collide and fall apart. He does have a waist swivel. And he has ball jointed knees with a full range of movement. And you can pivot his feet and move them up and down as you wish. So that's pretty much it for my Lego Galvatron mock. Now I know this isn't the best looking Galvatron that I could possibly make. I could probably make a much better looking one. But I don't really have the pieces considering most of my other Transformer mocks are using them. So it's kind of hard to make a really cool looking Galvatron with the pieces that I had, but I think he's fairly cool for what I could do. Um, my number one complaint would probably be just how long the body is and the lack of support he has. I mean, that's his heel spur, so he can't stand very well. He suffers from the similar problem that uh, Titan Return Skull Smasher does, so it kind of sucks, but he can't hold a pose. It's just he can't hold one for very long or very well. Well, guys, uh, let's move on to the voting. So for today's voting, we have some Dinobots. We have the Transformers 4, Age of Extinction, uh, Slag, I think his name was, or Slog. I can't really remember what they named him. Uh, we have Age of Extinction, Scorn. Actually, put you right here. And Age of Extinction, Voyager, Grimlock. There we go. So choose who you want to see uh, in the next video, they will be reviewed, uh, probably not tomorrow, uh, because I always say I'm going to review them tomorrow, but I never have the time, but as always, I, right up here at the top, please actually vote, uh, a lot of people aren't really voting as much as they used to, and it kind of disappoints me a little bit, but, oh well, I'm going to continue doing it, just because I like the concept of my subscribers and viewers getting to choose who they want to see reviewed. But of course we have Transformers 4 Scorn, Transformers 4 Grimlock, and Transformers 4 Slag, Slog, Slug, whatever his name is. So whoever you want to see reviewed tomorrow, there they are. And let the voting commence. I am Shockwave640 and I will be seeing you later my little large cons. So don't forget to like, comment, vote, and subscribe. And I will be seeing you guys later. Peace.